Yo, what's going on? Just doing a little vlog for you today. I haven't actually vlogged before. This is a new experience. I'm still trying to get a hold of the camera, bro. Make sure the camera can see my beautiful face. But, um, yo, what's popping? I just got a fresh braid up. I hope you're having a great day. I kind of was just thinking about this thought that I had. I've been somebody who's worked, like, a bunch of different jobs. Um, random places. Like, I've worked, like, a variety of different places. And I just had this thought that, you know, like, <clears throat> the people that you work with, don't really care about you. I just feel like, you know, there's so many managers and so many people that, you know, you work with and all they care about is like the work, you know? They don't have like any aspirations, they don't have any dreams. And it's not that that's a bad thing, you know? Like if you found your passion working with, you know, whatever industry you're in or whatever you're doing, then that's completely fine. But I just find that, you know, sometimes when you're working in these environments, they become so toxic. Everybody you're working with, you know, not everybody, but for the most part, most of your managers and other people, they don't care about your life, you know? Like, you tell them that, you know, you started this business. They're like, oh, that's great. Like, hope it works out for you. And then you come to them and you're like, hey, listen, you know, like, I booked off this day for this event that I'm doing. Oh, well, you know, unfortunately, it's just gonna be a day that we're really busy, you know, we have a lot of parties. I personally work at a restaurant so sometimes you know we'll have a whole bunch of reservations and it will kind of like ruin the night because we'll just have so many people and then they'll have to call more people in etc but anyways they'll tell you that you can't you know go to your event because we have a busy night and we need you to work that day and it's like i have my own dreams and my own aspirations that i'm trying to do that are more valuable to me than helping you <laughs> run this restaurant like i completely understand it and i completely get it but it's like my dreams are more important my aspirations are more important and for anybody out there who's trying to start a business or like do anything that they like never let your workplace like affect that you know i feel like a lot of times you know we like stop ourselves from like continuing our dreams because we are working so much and we're usually working in environments that we don't necessarily love and we don't necessarily you know align with <clears throat> and we're just doing it to support our dream, right? A lot of people who are creative and a lot of people who are trying to follow their passion, we just have all these careers and, you know, jobs on the side just to, like, help us, you know, get by and, and fund our dreams and our passions. But I've personally worked in so many environments where it's super toxic. And if you share things with other people, they don't necessarily value it and it's just better to keep things to yourself because you know a lot of people that you work with especially if you're you know somebody who's younger you could probably relate to this i'm somebody who works at like a restaurant on the side um like as a server and i'm like the youngest server and i'm like 22 and most people are like in their late 20s mid 20s to like 30s 40s you know there's some old people and they don't they don't fuck with the fact that I'm the youngest server. And they try and tell me like, yo, listen, like your 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 job's gotta your job's gonna be Oh, what's up? You're you, you know, you're you're struggling at what you're doing and like you should do it this way. And it's like, listen, I understand that this is your career, but you don't need to put that energy on me and tell me that, you know, I need to do my job better and this and that. And I feel like it's just a toxic environment and it becomes, you know, something that it's just really annoying to be a part of. I just really hate that. Like, you know, so many people have to work in these toxic environments. And I know what it's like, especially being the youngest and like everybody's trying to bring you down because like you're low-key better than everybody. As much as your managers and your colleagues want to tell you that they care about you, they really don't. You know, like I'm sure there's some of you that have like super close work friends or you've made friends outside of work. And those people are special and those people are unique. But for the most part, your managers don't care what you're going to do or your life outside of work. It's all on whatever works for the business and works for their schedule. And there's some workplaces, not all, that have a really open environment and they're super team friendly and like they really care about their colleagues and like do things. But for the most part, they don't. <clears throat> and it sucks, you know, you feel like your colleagues, you know, 
they care about you and they trust you, but I just find most of them are like super fake and you might feel the same way like if you've worked in a workplace where like you're friends with all these people but then like everybody's talking shit about everybody and it's like everybody's just super fake and it's like a super toxic environment but I just wanted to get on here and say like I know what it's like being in a toxic environment and you know it's honestly better to like not share with your workplace you know what you're trying to do because they just don't care and they just like don't value you except for like being an employee right and it's like I get it you hired me as an employee you didn't hire me as like a friend but it would just be nice obviously if a lot more workplaces took the time to kind of appreciate everybody's hobbies and what they got going outside of life so yeah it's just kind of how I guess it is working in, yeah working in a nine so to five the, the moment the moment things stop working out the moment things stop working out for them, they fire you and find somebody to replace you instantly. Exactly. Well said. Well said. They'll, they'll get rid of you just like that. Why can't they, why don't they have to give you a two weeks notice of firing you? Like, what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly feel like a lot of workplaces, they don't really care about you. And you may disagree. And if you work at a workplace where, like, they really appreciate you and it's a great vibe, like, keep that job. That's... Rare. that's that's rare and that's super lit but i know for the people that are in the hospitality industry or like a server and stuff it's not easy and like your managers just don't care you know so yeah but also don't take shit from don't take shit from the people that you work with you know like people are just going to constantly try and bring you down and a lot of people are just insecure right and they get threatened when you come in especially if you're younger in age and a lot of people are older and I just found too like it's just like don't take things as personally you know while you're working you know there's like no point in taking things personally but yeah just don't don't worry I personally think the people that you work with don't genuinely like care about you especially your managers and stuff and they say they do but like they really don't because like if they fire you they'll probably just get a new employee the next day so you got to value what you want to do in life whatever it is that you're trying to push yourself to do that's what you got to value and that's what you got to do because that's where you're going to get the most appreciation the most satisfaction and just the overall best enjoyment and you get to do it at your own pace so it's like the best best atmosphere and yo i'm <laughs> Yo, I've been bulking, and so I'm low-key, like, super fat right now, but I don't really do a lot of cardio, and I'm walking and trying to vlog, and I'm low-key losing breath, <laughs> so I don't know if you notice this while I'm vlogging. I don't really vlog like this, but that's why my, like, I'm, like, kind of, like, huffing and puffing, because I'm trying to talk and walk with the camera. It's a new thing I'm trying to do, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay true to yourself.